This Planet for the week ending March 30th, 2018. The vast accumulation of plastic pollution known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch contains three to six times more floating plastic than previously thought. The Dutch-based nonprofit Ocean Cleanup Foundation sent 39 vessels to map the garbage patch and gather data from an aerial survey. The study was carried out by six universities and others. It found 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic of every size currently afloat in the garbage gyre. The trash weighs about 80,000 metric tons. When a pod of dolphins became trapped by sea ice in the Newfoundland Port of Hearts Delight, people feared they would die. The Coast Guard couldn't free them because of the harbor's shallow water. So the town's fire chief came to the rescue, driving his excavator to the wharf and scooping out a channel that allowed the marine mammals to escape. Anthropocene magazine reports that university researchers have built a solar cell that captures the energy of raindrops as they slide across its surface. This is one of a number of recent solar innovations, including one that captures the power of wind in a similar way. Both use a force called traboelectricity, better known as static electricity. That's what makes your hair move toward a balloon. The Georgia Tech team has found ways to gather this electricity from movements that include stepping, sliding, and touching. Another great solar energy innovation comes from Tesla, the creator of electric cars. These roof shingles look good and collect solar energy. The company began producing the tiles earlier this year. For This Planet, I'm Steve Newman.